Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Tachia hao. Vanakam YPDR Kinge Satsri Akal. As I was driving here, I read Tan Sri Lim Kit Siang's latest posting about Muda. I want to make it very clear that Tan Sri is someone who I deeply respect, who I've had the privilege of working with before until today. In his latest posting, he pushed for Muda to work together with Zahid's Barisan National and PH so that we do not split votes, so that we can realize the Malaysian dream. I'd like to take this opportunity to respond to Tan Sri Lim Kit Siang, someone whom I respect. Dear Tan Sri, I am Syed Sadiq and I share the same Malaysian dream. A dream which sees Malaysians being treated to get equal opportunities, a Malaysia in which is truly the $5 billion institutions like Felda and Mitra under its control, therefore centralizing power like never before. The country I knew would have opposed and fought against the unilateral extension of the MACC chief, Mansara. The country I knew would ensure that the federal and state government do not hide behind the Official Secrets Act to classify PJD linked, which is a lopsided contractual multi billion dollar agreement, but hide it behind the Official Secrets Act, which disables the local communities to know and to make an informed decision whether this multi billion dollar project, which affects the housing, your households, the quality of living, but now hidden behind the Official Secrets Act, something which to me until today baffles me because I do not know what is there to hide if you are prepared to face the public. But most importantly, the country I knew would also shift to a needs-based education model which protects the interests of the Malays, Chinese, Indians, Ibans and Kadazans who come from underprivileged families to know that the colour of our skin should not determine our entrance in university, should not determine our ability to climb up our country's socio-economic ladder, to determine whether we can realise our dreams and ambition in a country which we proudly call our home, Malaysia. I say this because it comes from my heart. I'm not here to attack anyone personally. I'm not here to take down federal or state government. I am also a practical man. I know of the need to work with Amno Barista National. But when there is a push to collaborate, that collaboration must be tied with principles. That collaboration must be pushed to be based on realizing that very same Malaysian dream so that the reform agenda can be realized, not sacrificed for power. And I know that while I push for the same Malaysian dream, and while many leaders of Muda, people who are young, dynamic, coming from different professional backgrounds, truly multiracial and past, got in Subang, 0%. They didn't even dare to fill a candidate. Do you know how much they got in Bukit Gasing? A super amount of votes, 2%. Not even close to recovering their deposit. The reality is today, it is impossible to split votes in this area because PAS and PN are not here, they do not exist, and Muda will fight them regardless. This battle is a battle for the conscience of the people. Because we believe that if Zahid, Barisan National and PH take multiracial, moderate, policy-centred, reform-driven Malaysians lightly, if they treat your votes as a safe deposit, because PN will not come here, if they treat you as mere numbers and statistics, Muda will be here to challenge and be the people's voice of conscience for all Malaysians. Because if they rather pander because of power, because they know 
that PN doesn't stand a chance here. That no one and no party have ever dared to enter this territory thinking that it is the most impossible of impossible of missions. Vote Muda to be your check and balance and your voice of conscience. Vote Muda to make this unity government work better and harder for all of you. Because only when there is competition will we work hard to move Malaysia to the top. Only when there is competition will past promises be fulfilled. Only when there is competition can we push for your votes to not be taken lightly, but for your votes to be the kingmakers in deciding the fate of our beloved country, Malaysia. Please give Muda a chance. Yes, we will not be able to beat PN and PH, despite PN not being here, but we'll never be able to beat them when it comes to flags, banner and buntings. When I came here, maybe I'll see 50 PH and 30 PN flags and there'll be one or two Muda flags. We'll never be able to beat them in terms of resources. We don't have luxurious ministerial positions, GLC positions, control over federal and state government, control over communication investment into Malaysia, not just for this election, but for 20 to 30 years to come. So what we're asking for is that the fact of the matter, in areas like Bukit Gasing, in Biu, in Subang, in almost all the seats in which Muda are contesting in today, Malaysians can get the best of both worlds. What do I mean by the best of both worlds? The federal government is still under PH. The state government, as the Menteri Besar said, they are confident of winning 53 out of 56 seats, will still be under PH. Your <laughs> the road ahead for Muda is not an easy one. As a party, we have declared our assets. Asia, when we talk diversity, we should not just be tolerated, but treated as our country's greatest asset. That's what a truly developed Malaysia looks like. A Malaysia in which all Malaysians proudly call this place our home. A Malaysia in which even if we are born in an underprivileged poor family, we know with our own grit, iron and hard work, we can climb up the socio-economic ladder like someone who's in the future of our country. We do not want to play the old game of politics, of divisions. Yes, not playing the politics of 3R may be tough because it's not sentiment-based. It's not emotionally driven. But we want to change Malaysia, to make Malaysia a developed country, is one which is based on good institutions and good policies. Why is it hard to dream of an education system in which a poor Indian who may be born in a rural estate through his own grit and hard work can climb up the socioeconomic ladder, can access the best of scholarships and universities because he or she deserves it. Why is it too hard of a dream to imagine one day where our public transportation system will be so efficient that there's no longer a dire need to own two or three private vehicles in urban Malaysia? Why is it hard to dream in which one day our democracy becomes so strong and resilient that even when our opponents win, we know that our country will move in the right direction because the opposition gets equal allocations. The role of the leader of opposition is institutionalized. We ensure that there are proper checks and balances. So in the end, the interests of Malaysians come first, not hyper-partisanship, not personality politics. That dream will take a while. But all of you here today, with every single vote which is at your disposal, will be a vote to invest in that dream, to invest in Malaysia's future, to invest in your children and grandchildren's future. Give a chance to Muda to serve you in Bandar Utama, in Bukit Gasing, in Subang. We have Raja, we have Abi Lim, we have Sarada Zaid. These are people who could have just stayed away from politics. Abi could have continued to work in Climate Earth, a renowned international organization in the UK after completing her studies in Oxford Brooks. 
But she decided to come back to serve. Zaid, who has two masters, who also runs his own industry and who works as a professional, could have just stayed in, the, in his comfortable private sector job, but decided to make that leap. We are here to serve because we believe that this country is a blessed land. It's a country in which we will work remarkably hard so that one day we know that that Malaysian dream will be a true Malaysian dream. I like to end my speech with the same note to Tan Sri Lim Kit Siang. And the reason why I dedicate this speech because if it came from another random leader, I wouldn't bother. But being someone young in politics, I learned that bipartisanship is very important. While being young and rebellious, I also know that there is a need to respect our older leaders. And as I shared, he is someone whom I do respect and cherish very personal relationship with. However, being a new leader, it is my responsibility to speak up for the people. It is my responsibility to ensure that the, that the path to realize that Malaysian dream can be seen. But most importantly, as a young Malaysian, and as many members of MUDA, our loyalty comes to our country first, our constitution, and our beloved Rukun Negara. I hope that when the 12th of August come, give a chance to MUDA. Every vote which goes to MUDA will be that wake-up call. Every vote for MUDA will be investment in our country's future. We hope that in the end, hope wins, not fear-mongering. Because we hope that in the end, after the state elections, the federal government and state government will still remain. But we hope that there will be proper checks and balances with MUDA leaders in, so that those who control Putrajaya today will realise that we should not treat voters in urban areas as safe deposits, as statistics and numbers. But your vote, your voice matters because in the end, we love this country like any other Malaysian. Thank you very much, everyone. It is an honour and a privilege to be given the opportunity to speak in front of you. I hope that you give Abi Lim, maybe you should stand up, Abi a chance. I hope you give Raja a chance. I'm not sure if Zaid is here. But please do share the message to friends and family members because together, we can create history. Thank you very much, everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shushini.